If it was the giving, if it was the truck, oh, she's gotta get, she's gotta get it, oh, she's gotta damn it. You know what? My face is dry. Hello, guys. I know some of you be a bit mad at me because I've taken a teeny break, but I've got so much planned. I know people say it all the time, but I really have. I've wrote a whole list on my memo about all the topics that I'm going to be doing and stuff, so I'm excited. But I hope you're all well and blessed and beautiful. And hi, new subscribers. Nearly on 6,200. It's amazing to be honest because when I did this I remember when I used to just dream of getting a thousand and then from a thousand my dream was actually just 1,800 so to be over 5,000 is really amazing so it is literally my road to 10k so because I don't know when I'm gonna make a video I thought it would just make sense to do like a new year's tools type of video so tools that you could take into the new year and because i'm still learning and what i have learned i definitely want to relate those tools so what we can learn together and a lot of times when we make new year's resolutions and stuff we always just put stuff out there like we just do the most the most thing that we just put for me i always do the most extreme thing which i probably wouldn't achieve and it just leaves me disappointed, feeling like I've not done anything. But like you, grad, you don't allow yourself to just do little things. Like say, all right, I'm gonna go cinema more, or I want to go clubbing at least once uh, every two months, or I want to get out and have a dinner with my closest friends, and like you know, little stuff like that is what creates real memories and stuff, and what can add longevity. And being of this video as well is I spoke about wants and needs, demanding your wants and needs from a man, but I feel like we forget to prioritise our wants from our needs with ourselves. And with social media, it's very easy to... Um, it's very easy to be misconstrued from what is important and what's not. So... When you want something, even if it is from someone and what you need, you need to learn what is more valuable. And a lot of the times, wanting is a lot more valuable than need. Sometimes when you need something, it needs to be a necessity. It, it's something that you need. It's something that you have to have. That's that. And I feel like people put that on people a lot. I used to do that all the time. So when I used to speak, I always used to be like... Or oh, what I need from a man, I need him to do this, I need him to be this, I need him to like this, I need to feel like this, I need to no 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 and that in order when you want it, when you're demanding so much from someone without it being a um compromise. So it's not like I already have a partner and we're compromising what we need to better ourselves to be a better unit or I'm not saying what I need for my friend or what they need for me for us to be for us you for our um bond to be a bit more solid and cemented I'm already putting out there what I need from someone and it can come off as desperate and it's taken me a long time to realize that you know I was sitting in bed and I was thinking today I was like Oh my God, all the things that I did want and all the things that I demanded from people before I was even with them and when I was dating them, I think that I was desperate. And when I started to just enjoy myself, provide my own needs and for myself and start to differentiate the wanting and the needing, it was easier just to appreciate what I wanted from someone and what I, and in turn of what they wanted from me and what they offered. So... Um, how can I say it? I did. I wanted to stray away from involving people, but obviously, I think that's the one thing that <laughs> you know we, we demand from is <laughs> people. <laughs> so, how do I say it like this? So, like when you want some, so if a man tells you that he needs your time, right? It sounds demanding. I need you to. Phone me. I need you to come home now. I need you to cook me food, right? And instantly, do you not feel defensive? You feel defensive. I keep looking at the camera here because my phone's the other way around. 
But instantly, you would feel defensive. Like, who the fuck do you think you're telling me that you need blah, 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 right? Now, if he says, babe, I want you to come home. I want you to cook tonight. I want you to spend today, to spend tonight in or whatever. I want to see you tonight. Do you see how it's different? There's more of a like authenticity. I feel like if someone wants you more than they need you, they're most likely will they're most likely going to be a bit more sincere with you because that means they're prioritizing you in a different way from needing. So when someone needs, a lot of times when we need things from people and when we when we have so much high demands and expectations, it's to fulfill our own insecurities and our own fears of what we don't want of what's happened to us before. And in order to feel like we're masking ourselves and protecting ourselves from hurt or from being hurt, we we exaggerate the needs and then we forget the wants and the needs. And then that automatically, you you kind of attract what you get. So every time that I had a situation that it didn't work, and every time that I met someone, I was like, wow, another dickhead. And every time that this didn't happen, every time that did that didn't happen, it was because I've put in out a need and I was putting out a desperation for it. That desperation wasn't a desperation that didn't need to be for that moment. I don't need a man, I want one. I've got myself, I don't need you I want you I don't need you to love me I want you to love me I don't need to get that job I don't need to earn six figures I want to aim to earn six figures there's a difference now I need to go to the toilet I don't want to go to the toilet women don't need they need to get pads you ladies need to get pads right? You don't want to get pads. Do you see? They're already saying it with necessities and things that you can't really control. It's different. But like, I feel like that's a new mindset that I'm definitely for myself, first and foremost, taking into next year. Because it is really important to know the difference between the two, actually. Very important. Because when things don't happen, you're like, oh my God. And you wonder why, because you're speaking things in, you're speaking the wrong things. And you're getting what you're given, but you're not speaking what you truly want. Because I do believe in manifestation, universe and all that stuff. Oh, and it's different like we're saving. So you have to remember what you want and what you need. So if you have a saving fund and you're putting £10 into it every week and something happens to me. So I've been saving here. And how I needed new trainers. So we went, like, it was only, like, what, Saturday? We went to Westfield, right? And she bought herself some vapor maxes. And I was going to get her. I was going to get, you know, the 270s, the, the night trainers with the big bubble at the back. Because I was like, I need trainers for work. And I was this close. And she's like, come, come, let's get them, get them. I was this close. And saying this, I was like, no, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Because I knew... That if I started getting those, then I would buy something else. I'll buy something else. And before I know it, my money that I would have dipped into the money that I that I didn't need to because it was unnecessary. I don't want them. It was just because I could have bought them. And that's another thing. Like, it's so easy to be fed little stuff like that. Like, I can go out and I can buy so much stuff and I always buy shit. Do you know how much stuff I've got that I have not worn? And it's like... I don't understand why I do it. And since I've started prioritising little stuff, only, it's only been since Saturday. Well, other stuff, but now it's gone into my finances. It, it definitely gives you more clearer vision of stuff because, listen, me buying those trainers now, I wouldn't be wearing them for 20 years. So even if I wanted to save that's 100 and whatever, and I was to put that in my account for the next 40 years if I wanted to, it would accumulate and I would profit from that. I won't profit from buying stuff for now. And that's the thing, like, I've said to myself, unless I really, really need something now, unless it's really unique and I I can wear it endlessly, then I want to invest my money into it. So um, that's what I said to myself, because 
I feel like I've wasted so much money on shoes that I just end up throwing away after a few wears. And then I buy stuff and I don't even like them afterwards. Or so I buy something and it's already ripped. And it's just cheap, tacky quality. And I keep buying more and more and more. And it's unnecessary. Because it's just like, if you're not going to invest one time in something that actually lasts, then that's why sometimes it's not always about makes and designers and stuff which people like to people like to like gucci i think people have overused gucci so much that it just looks like a cheap make now i remember to me when so when i saw gucci i saw like oh my god i never forget that you know i'd be like gucci's like boom then all the road men started wearing those Gucci trainers and having a Gucci side bag and a Gucci belt. And in Louis Vuitton, it's this very Essex. Like, there's not many girls that have not got a Louis Vuitton bag with the, the tan and the extensions and the eyelashes. It's just, it's just like, it's like there's certain things that people take the thing. Like Balenciaga, I really liked it when I first discovered it. And now it's just like, it's just like a new trend. I don't like things like that. I don't. And it's so easy to buy into that. But I, I can't allow myself to do that because then I'm buying into something. I bought the Be Balenciaga socks and I don't even wear them now. So imagine paying all that money for something that is like nothing. Just because it's like the trend. It's like you see people with it, you're like, oh my God, I want them too. And I don't, and it's, it, you need to get yourself stuck out of that because then you start to, it's like you're buying into a facade and it's just not you to be honest. Because I'd rather have had that money and done something else with it. Fucking hell, I would have gone on holiday or something. So it's just wants and needs. I think the biggest tools that we can take into the new year is wants and needs. Like whether you're dealing with people, what do they provide you? How do they make you feel? It shouldn't be easy to cut people off. If you want to give a man a chance, how do you feel about him? Because to be honest, giving people chances, I don't think that, I think people think too much about relationships, to be honest. This is why I don't understand why people are so opposed to being in a relationship rather than just having random hookups and stuff. It doesn't never, it's never made sense to me. I'd rather be someone that's been in multiple relationships than have random hookups and loads of them. And then they have the audacity to say up my big mouth. Oh, I'm not ready for the relationship right now, but I'm ready for sex. Like I can't, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It doesn't make sense to me. So if you want to give someone a try, give someone a try. What's the worst that can happen that you, it doesn't work? Thank God, it doesn't work, then you move on. With relationships, and when you give people chances and you're dating people, you always learn something. You might not see it at the time when you break up and things don't go the way that you think it was gonna go or whatever, but then don't put too much on it. Like, just let yourself go and let yourself enjoy the person and embrace the person. And always, I wouldn't say reserve a bit of yourself because it's hard if you're a person that falls, like moi. So you fall hard when you're seeing people. But always, remember that you're going to be good regardless like you always have to tell yourself you know if this doesn't don't think because before i would put my everything into something and i would not even think of the consequence of it going that up down like and then when it did i would just be crying for weeks what am i doing and i put it into my insecurities and be like is it because i look like this because i'm like this no 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 sometimes things just aren't meant to be but in every single situation that happens in your life, whether it be good or extremely awful, you're always going to learn something. You can always take something from it and put that and invest it into yourself and nurture it and manifest it into something positive. There's learning, there's an opportunity to learn and grow in absolutely everything, everything and anywhere in life. So you have to give yourself that opportunity to do that. And Procrast procrastinating the situations and just do, just do, go for it, live. You, and it's not even about like, you never know what tomorrow, tomorrow's never promised. And it's really not, that's what this life is for. Like if you're going to live and go to sleep and you don't even contemplate maybe not waking up the next day, why are you going into situations with your eyes open so cautiously? It doesn't make sense. But yet you go to sleep and you don't even know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. But then you're, you're worried about this, you're worried about that. No! Sorry, I'm here to live. I can't be out. I've spent a lot of my life being sad and crying and being depressed. And it's really sad because I think when I think of my 20s, I think of a lot of times that I've learned. And I think of a lot of times that I've been heartbroken because I've allowed myself to get to a certain point where I did not need to be, where I could have just left the situation how it was. But then you you take it and you, you it's almost like you feed off that hurt. And then you start to become that angry person and 
sad and oh, oh, ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. So those are some tools for the new year and just for life in general. And never forget to smile because you have everything to smile about. Even when you think that you're, you're, even when you think you don't, you really do. Um, 